Namaskar, welcome to my channel. This is Aditya and in this channel I talk about real estate investing, real estate sales and my personal journey as an investor and salesperson and much more. And in this video actually I have a special guest who is my client Raman Gill. Actually I made a couple of other videos with her how she is getting 6,000 passive income from just three properties. Check out that video and also made another property tour of her property that she's converting a single family into a duplex by adding a secondary unit in the basement. So this is the continuation of that video. Um, in this video specifically, she's gonna share what's the procedure to add a secondary unit in the basement and what are the requirements that city needed in order for a property to qualify to add the secondary unit. And uh, you know, she'll be sharing a lot of tips on how to get the you know permits from the city quickly. Like literally she got permits in three weeks and also you know how to get these renovations done in a, in a very um, economical way because you know duplex conversion is, is kind of a very complicated process and takes a lot of time. So stay till end of this video, you'll be learning so many details about this you know, duplex conversion, the additional dwelling unit process. So hope you enjoy and make sure leave a comment and thumbs up if you like this. Let's go into the basement okay. and tell us more there. All right. So we don't have access to the basement from inside. Uh, no. So and you don't need it. We had access, so we closed it off because it's going to be a two separate unit. Mm -hmm. So we decided to close that access and uh, um, put a laundry machine. So there. for city requirement, you don't need that. You don't need that. No. Really. Because you Good have a front access noted. and these are two separate units. So main floor has only one access from the front front door and this is going to be a one access from here so guys two so units are going to be separate sometimes you got to find out from the city okay, so basement is totally unfinished so we're still working on it so this was the access coming from main floor to mm. to the back side and that's where you put in the laundry this is where we the put the laundry machines and we close this off perfect great idea and as you can see there is already a closet here for the basement mm -hmm. to hang their coats yeah so here we are in the basement which soon gonna be a unit it's gonna be a <laughs> unit yeah so this is the one that i'm super excited to learn from you now if I remember correctly, you got your permits, right? Yes, we did. And I'm very oh. happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, to start with, um, just run us some numbers. First, like, you know, how much you got this property. Mm -hmm. And what was the procedure for getting the permits approved? Okay, so as you know, this is our first time doing this too. Yeah. Uh, so, there was a little bit of a learning curve in there too. So we purchased this house for three thirty thousand, three hundred thirty thousand. Yeah. Um, as it is, so um, then basement, as you can see, it's already it was uh, unfinished, but then it's already uh, waterproofing was done and some yeah. pump is installed. So that so was a good thing. So some work they did. <laughs> some work they did, but mostly it's like unfinished. Yeah. And the height is like really great. It's like more than seven feet here. So yeah. then after getting the property, so we decided to go with like you know adding it. As an ADU yeah. and then we start the process mm -hmm. um, you have to apply online first you need to actually get a uh, approval from planning department first before you so, even send an application so before even that like actually why did you choose this property to do your duplex conversion because this is the perfect for duplex Com conversion it's the best area South okay. Windsor people are looking for uh, rent it's a high like a very high, high market for mm -hmm. a renter okay the area is very very nice mm -hmm. high-end area yeah. and it's close to US and close to there are four public schools in here yeah um, so everything is like close and uh, Macy is here yeah. Glenwood and all other three other yeah I, I, I love South area. Windsor too yes all the uh, the 
bus stops, schools, shopping, mm -hmm. um, bridge access, everything is like is five right. minutes and very short so, distance. I love that you, you you figured out in a very good location. Yeah. But why this property? Because one thing that um, you know many people get confused. Oh, um, how do I know this property would qualify to uh, for me to convert it, and make it duplex? A very good question. So we need to check the zoning first when you buy any property. Just make sure its zoning is right, and you can always call the city and then give them the address mm -hmm. before you even purchase and ask them. I want to do an ADU in this property, okay. so uh, can you check the zoning and they can confirm right there, right then, like if you are able to do it or not. So Smart. that will save you a lot of money. So, so just go call the city, call the 311. City. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and if you need a specific contact, actually I have the contact okay. <laughs> who deal with the ADU. Yes. So once that is done and mm -hmm. you confirm that, then you know that you're good to go. Yeah. And but did you look anything in specific in the property? Yes. So I just wanted to make sure that layout is there in the mm -hmm. basement. Upstairs is pretty standard. Like yeah. All the houses are same. The basement is like something you want to make sure. Height is the main thing you want so to make. So, how much sure. did you look for height? Uh, I always go with seven and above, okay. but if it's six eleven finished, that is like a city's requirement. So, so you city requirement go. is six eleven. That's how after I finishing. understood it. Yes. So and, and you need like seven feet. Uh, so uh, yeah, because then you're gonna have a couple inches of drywall Got and all it. that. So you just yeah. need to make sure the height is there. So. so just always look for a property that has at least seven feet height. At least, yes. Yeah, yeah so that way you, after putting the drywall. Yeah, drywall floor, so it's gonna be like a couple inches short afterwards. Yeah. But you, as you can see, the height is not an issue here. I, I was under assumption that six nine was the requirement. So it's like every time you call the city, you will get a different answer. Different. <laughs> so <laughs> so I it's not say, just me. No, so six nine and plus is okay. But all these bungalows, mostly they have like seven feet, seven six, feet, eleven. Yeah. So that's not an issue. Yeah. So these are pretty. That's one of the cool thing that you yes. mentioned. Lot of South Windsor bungalows, like especially in Windsor, are six, it's seven they are, feet. Yes, yeah. They're pretty standard height. And uh, what really attracted me to this property mm -hmm. is like we have lots of windows and yeah. the layout is very nice. So we can put like easily two bedrooms. Yeah. Living area, huge kitchen, bathroom, laundry room. So everything. that's another good point. So sunlight. Sunlight, yes. Um, how do I know if this property would qualify for? Is there any requirements that city ask you for? Uh, so some of the investors says that you need only one egress window. Okay. And the rest of it, like there is a requirement per square feet, how many, what the sunlight you need to have. Okay. So bedrooms, you don't need to put an egress window. Okay. But uh, one egress window is needed, uh, plus the uh, so access. So one access, access. Well, of course, access. Yes, <laughs> yes, an egress window. An egr so one egress window. Yes. And then there need to be like enough sunlight. Enough sunlight. It's so that like means a, we don't need like, four or five egress windows at all? No, you don't. But I'm not sure how many uh, windows and like what the requirements are, like for square feet, per square feet, mm -hmm. how much light you need. But we are going with like four egress windows in this Got it. because it's gonna break all the sunlight yeah. in. Yeah, and, and if you look at this property, like you're right, when you look at it, you can feel the sunlight, right? Two yes. windows there, two, two windows there, there two is there. Right here, yeah. So, and then access is like exactly. pretty Exactly, there's a straight wide. access to outside. Yeah, that's well, pretty so. smart. So, like, how was the procedure to get the permits? Because now you got the permits, mm -hmm. right? So which department did you contact first? And was there any fees involved? Yes, there is a fees involved, but you mm -hmm. don't need to pay it upfront. Okay. So first you need to uh, send an up, just a straight email to planning department okay. with your property information. Okay. This is your house number. This is what you purchase and you're trying to do ADU. Mm -hmm. um, and then they will give you your, their approval saying that you're eligible to do it or not. Okay. Mm -hmm. So once you get approval from them, then you apply online, fill the application, mm -hmm. but then you need to have your architecture drawings done and all that. So first thing, you got to call the planning department. Yes. And then you have to hire a designer or yeah so designer um, because i already uh, get like you know confirmed with the city that this is eligible for eligible for, yeah so just can you run down like run us with the numbers what are you estimating to complete this secondary unit of course so my estimate is like 
Uh, doing the basement is going to be around 60,000. Okay. Uh, and maybe um, just have a 5,000 contingency there. So 65,000 you're estimating including, to finish. Yes, including the city windows. fees and okay. everything. Yeah, egress windows, everything. So is that the number you just came up with or is that the numbers that you came up from getting the estimates from the trains? Um, so yeah, I'm getting different estimates done. So okay. obviously I'm going to go with the best one. <laughs> okay. So that like is what I'm uh, assuming that it's going to be around oh, that. But that's figure. something that you came up with by talking to different people. Yes, trains. yes. Okay, so that's another cool thing. You didn't hire a contractor, right? No. So I'm just kind of talking to different people because if you want to hand the project over to one person and obviously they're going to be 30 person more yeah. than the other prices. So I like to do things like, you know, we want to have more control. On. Yes. <laughs> And plus, like, you know, I, I just like we do have some contractors, yeah. we know, so why not use them? Yeah, so. that's a very good point, guys, especially for making a secondary unit. It's going to be costing a lot of money. Yeah. Especially if you're hiring a GC. Now, if they don't know what they're doing, they're going to spend a lot more money. Oh, then you're looking at 100,000 plus. 100,000 plus. <laughs> because again, that's, uh, that's the thing. It depends on what's your timeline. Yes. Depends on where you're standing. You know, exactly. And if you don't have time, then yes, yeah. I mean, that's a good that's idea. That's a great idea. I yeah. mean, but then again, if you want to save money, the best way is like, you know, yeah. just and ask around. Yeah, one common question that I got from many people um, who are doing duplex donations, mm -hmm. do I have to do split the meters for hydro, gas and water? Again, it's your choice. You don't have okay. to. So it's not mandatory? It's not mandatory. From I the city. mean, if you are, again, it just depends on what your goals are, right? If okay. you want to do like all inclusive, mm -hmm. there's no point. Like, but there is no requirement. There from is no the city. requirement from That's the city. a great point, guys. Yes. Sometimes, you know, I hate to do, but are you planning to do that? Oh, definitely. Because uh -huh. I'm not paying for the utilities, the tenant will pay. So you're going to separate the hydro, gas? Um, water not as well? the gas. The furnace, we are not okay. separating because then you have to yeah. run the duct. So that's a smart work. So that's yeah. where you're saving money. Yes. That's exactly what I'm trying to ask because, you know, a couple of my duplexes are the same way. I have separate hydrometers, mm -hmm. but I don't have separate furnace. And plus you're saving space too, right? I mean, the yeah. double duct and then you will have more ducts more in duct. the basement. So it will be Pretty so small. <laughs> small. So yeah, I yeah. don't want to do Very that. Good exactly. Very good idea. Very good idea. If I were you, I would do the same thing. Exactly. I, I, I'm grasping all this information. <laughs> Maybe I'll be doing a duplex Yeah, I mean, if anybody has a better idea, I'm all for it. Yeah, but yeah. we are not uh, separating that. You know, I know this is a lot of information. <laughs> Raman, thank you so much. No problem at so, all. My pleasure. Definitely, we'll come back once all done yes. and then we'll talk the numbers after renovations and we'll give you guys a tour after renovations yeah and with that good luck with all the renovations thank you and thank you so much yeah and if you haven't seen raman's introduction other video how she actually you know uh, got financial freedom with three properties not this one the other three properties check out the other video on the link thank you so have a wonderful day guys see you in the next video thanks bye